Comedians of Canada, my name is Thomas Christian Zog, Esquire. I am legal representation of a George McKenna. Uh, Mr. McKenna has brought legal proceedings against the Second City Theatre Group uh, for violations and antitrust violations of in, uh, use, of uh, use of intellectual property, uh, egregious discrimination, uh, and uh, Egregious discrimination. All right, who are we kidding, right? Some of you, some of you are going. That's George. That's that's George. What, what, the, what the fuck does he mean? He's Thomas Zog, legal representation of George McKenna. That's horseshit. That's George. He's playing a character again. Huh. Well, as you may be aware, my real legal name, and here I'm going to produce my ID to the entire world. Uh, my real legal name is as follows. Oh look, some people are going to try and steal my identity. I don't care. I don't care. Grow some balls, comedians. Stand up comics without balls. Get out. Okay? We got comics being censored in Montreal. Got to go before a judge because he makes fun of a kid with a retarded face. Are you serious? Fuck that. Now, if you're so retarded as a comedian that you only live in the universe of comedy and that's the only thing you think about, you gotta realize that comedians fulfill a role in society that is very real and very tangible. And it is in the interests of preserving freedom and democracy that you are a fucking comedian. You, as a comic, live on the border and boundary of free speech. So when people start getting silenced and brought before judges, you need to know that free speech as an inalienable right guaranteed under our Charter of Rights and Freedoms within this beautiful country, Canada, that freedom is under attack. Now I know great comics from all over the scene in Canada. Comics like Matt Aladine in Vancouver, who has integrity or Sterling Scott in Edmonton, who also has some fucking integrity, or Darren Frost of Toronto, who also has integrity. There are many more comics that I know that have integrity. Ones like Dom Paré, and so on and so forth. Oh, I'm a shitty comic, I'm gonna chase a fucking laugh. Guess what, you goddamn idiots? I am deadly serious. Do you know how to be deadly serious? Probably not. This is why I'm an Esquire. What's an Esquire? It's someone that knows and can interpret the fucking law. And that is why I'm bringing litigation and legal actions against the, uh, the Second City Theater Group. Because they stole some of my intellectual property. I'm sure they probably stole some of your intellectual property, too. Let's sue the bastards. I'm smart enough to do it. I know. Do you know that that's how, all, that's how scary all lawyers can be? At the drop of a hat? Yeah. Fun stuff about the law. I'm sure some cunt like Brandy C.K. LaPerle in Edmonton would also try and tell you that. But she is a cunt, so keep that in mind. Oh, that's discrimination! I don't care. I don't care. Don't care at all. And, uh, you know, as the controversy contins continues to linger, uh, and as long as Mr... Here's the thing to the Second City people. As long as Joel Buxton works for your organization, this litigation will proceed. You want to fire Joel Buxton? I'll drop the case. It's simple as that. There you go. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm a reasonable man, capable of doing business. Speaking of business, by the way, I thought I would just mention to you that this message has been brought to you by Tech Savvy. 
Canada's only ISP capable of providing secure internet access in this age of cyber war. Oh my god! Oh my god! He got his own show! He got his own show and we hate him! Well, here's the thing. You shouldn't hate me. I just, uh... You know, what, what the stand-up scene probably doesn't get is that I just wrote a legal framework. Most of you don't even know what that means. Most of you don't know what a precedent is. Most of you don't really understand copyright, intellectual property laws, or international trade laws. I understand all of these things. And uh, I actually set a precedent in international law. And I was the, what I have done is so huge and big, you can't understand it right now. But the world's gonna change. We're probably not gonna go to war, war with Russia anymore. I've given a bunch of information that you probably aren't gonna understand anyway. So, I really would have appreciated if I could have just kept being a comic, you know? If you didn't make me bring the lawyer side of me out. But this injustice can go on no further. Feel the burn, Bernie Sanders. Special considerations given to Starbucks Corporation. Did I mention they sell herbal tea? Uh, and also, of course, of course, Canada's best bank, Tangerine. Because they're not the kind of crooks that are going to make you pay to hold your... <laughs> Tangerine Bank. Because they're not the kind of crooks that are going to make you pay them to hold, their, to hold your money. See? This is how you write good ad copy, good television series, good programming, and everything else. Uh, all the shit talkers and the haters, you can take these two fingers and shove them so far up your asses, I'll see you in court. And uh, all the friends and fans out there, keep on watching, keep on supporting. I've been, uh, who is this guy? Thomas Christian Zog, Esquire at Law. Bye for now.